Let me show you what I mean. Let's save it and close it. And then tab to the left. So now if I go to my customer center, which by the way, if you're in the bookkeeping view, is down in the get paid and pay area, customers right there. So then if I go into here and I look at my customers, let's do it this way, then it's it's not gonna be an Anderson. It's not messing up Anderson's stuff at all, even though it's related to Anderson. It's got the ZZZ customer. They're gonna be like, where did that come from? It's just, don't worry about it. And so it's got this journal entry, which again, doesn't look right because it should be an invoice you would think. And when I make the other reversing entries, they're not gonna link together in the same format as when you have a, a invoice and a payment. That's the problem. But it's down here where it doesn't, it shouldn't really mess anything up. So we should be okay. That's my theory about it at least. So then we're gonna go to the reports and see what happens, run it. So now we've got the accounts receivable has been adjusted. So now if I go into February, We've got this journal entry that was put in place. If I expand this to 033123, we can see that as of March 5th, it will be in there two times. So now it's in there twice, but it's correct as of the cutoff date. We put it in before the cutoff date, that's good. Now it's duplicated after the cutoff date. That's why we're gonna need a reversing entry to make sure that it doesn't mess things up by that point, which we'll do next time. The other side's on the profit and loss, the P and the L. So then I can say, okay, if I go into the revenue here, we can see that there it is with the adjusting entry. We can see that we reversed it in March, or we didn't reverse it. It's in there twice as of March. So that's why we're gonna have to reverse it. The other side's back on the balance sheet, back to the balance sheet in the payable account down here for the taxes. If I go into that, now I've got this journal entry in the taxes, which I don't think it's gonna mess up my sub ledger reports when I use the tax widget thing or anything, but I'll reverse it. So everything I believe should work properly there. Again, if you're concerned about it, you can make another account called like uh, sales tax payable adjusting entry. So you don't have to put it into the detail in there and it should work fairly well because it'll just be an other current liability account as opposed to doing that with accounts receivable because if i had to create another account for accounts receivable to post to not to mess up their sub ledger i wouldn't want to make it an accounts receivable type account because then it'll have the same sub ledger issue i would have to make it like an other current uh, asset which means it would be down here somewhere not even next to the receivable that's why it's a little bit funny to do that with a receivable all right and then inventory if i go into the inventory I've got this journal entry that happened for the inventory right there. And the inventory is gonna be out of whack. Now, the whack is out. We whacked it out of something, the thing that would, it was in. Because if I go to the inventory report right here and run it, we're now at 4346 as of March 31st. If I go back on over here, it says we're at, four, at 3946, obviously. The difference is that journal entry that we entered, right? 3946 minus 4346, which is the $400 difference. So we're gonna have to reverse it and then we'll be back, we'll whack it back into place. We'll whack it into place instead of out of place. So, and then the cost of goods sold, of course, uh, has been recorded here, February. There's our adjusting entry. And so there's the other side, or it has been recorded twice here. So now we've got everything. We've in entered the, other, the whole thing with a journal entry as of the cutoff date, making things correct from a financial state point perspective as of the uh, February 28th, the cutoff date. But now it's gonna be duplicated in March. And we're, so therefore we're gonna have to do a reversing entry uh, and we'll do that next time. So that's, that is that. Let's open up our reports. So if I go to the, let's just go to the tab to the right and I'm gonna open up the hand boogie, scroll down to the reports on the left. If I look at my journal reports, journal 
reports. Now we've got our adjusting entries. Let's make this 022823 to 022823. Run it. And there's the adjusting entries. And we're going to customize it up top to look at the filters and just look at the transaction journal type of entries. And there's the entries we've made. There's the longer entry we just did. We're going to reverse it next time.